Yo, what's going on? I'm your host, Big Trudy, and this is the Late Bloomers Podcast. I just want to apologize to all my subscribers and followers. Man, I haven't been doing my due diligence and putting out content enough, but I do apologize, and um, I'm going to make it my business to go hard. You know, I've been taking notes. I've been doing a whole lot better with my journalism and uh, just trying to feed you guys the best news and um, just just uh, just be a lot better with my content creating and and, and that's that's why this uh, first episode with this this new outlet outlook on things is so so important to me. Uh, I asked a question on social media probably about a week ago. This some shit I, I've been feeling like this, and I just want to have an open dialogue. Maybe it's other people that feel this way and don't know how to talk about it, uh, but in this space that I'm in, this podcast space, social media space, um, I just want to ask this question, and, and like I said, start an open dialogue, and maybe with this open dialogue, it'll help me get more answers and, and have a better understanding, you know. And I asked, what was what was your biggest fear? And you know, I asked a couple of people to share, pass it along. I haven't went back and checked to see, you know, what was the response. But here it is. Like my biggest fear is death. You know. That's just it. It, 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 it. It's death. Like trying to accept the fact that I'm living to die. You know, no matter what you do, no matter what I do, the highs and the lows, it's like, damn, I'm gonna die. And that is kind of hard to it's hard to deal with for me and I'm big on like I love the shit out of myself I'm, I'm pro me I'm, uh, I'm my biggest fan right I'm a loner so when all the people that's loners out there to know when you big on I, I love people but you know what I'm saying I'm loner life done uh turn me into a loner and when you a loner man you gonna love yourself you gonna love yourself a lot and the older I get the more significant family members that I lose like my granny did it for me my, my, my grandpa I lost him shit 20 plus years ago but he was a a, a major person in my life you know what I'm saying? Uh, my grandmother, who was another major figure in my life, I lost her a couple years ago. So I'm a granny baby, like for real, truly. I'm a granny baby. And uh, and saying it, coming from this background I done came from, and I done had to love myself, right? So, in doing so, like I said, I'm big on me. And it's like, damn, the older I get in this mid-30 range right now, man, I could be out having fun and kicking it. And it's like my mind to wander off to like, damn, I'm going to die. And it's like the most uncomfortable feeling ever. It's like a cloud that's over me. And it's like, how do I shake this shit? I know part of it is it it, it 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 comes back to me, my relationship with God. I was brought up in the church, and um, I know when you brought up in the church and you raised like that, it tells you that the afterlife is a beautiful thing when you know where you're going, and uh, you know you got a beautiful relationship with God, the, the uh, golden kingdom of heaven. And, you know, you're going to see all the people that you lost. So, it's a beautiful thing, but 
it's like my flesh is living now and my flesh is like that's that's still the uncertain and it's like damn i'm gonna die and it kind of make me want to go into a shell like i want to damn like like okay you living for your health to fail like shit, i don't want to be like that you know what i'm saying i i, I it kind of made me want to go into a shell like for real for even when i'm older like if i start deteriorating deteriorating like shit, i want to get out the way i don't want to see nobody i want nobody to see me down and going through that transition of being old it's so many ways to die but not enough ways to live and then i get to thinking about my legacy not just with my family, like shit. Death is so final that I want to make, have an impact on humanity, the world. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. That's how serious it is. You only get one life, and you spend so much time. You can spend so much time struggling and trying to accommodate a lot of things that. I feel like you get lost in the important life of just living and shit. When I get to living and, like I said, being happy, it, some it'll just that black cloud will come back over my head. Like, damn man, you gonna die one day. And then when I get to thinking like this, like damn, this cool person I am, this this this, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be here no more. And it's like, damn, I don't know the effect that it's going to have on people. You know what I'm saying? So it's not having the best relationship with my father growing up, right? My He's been around forever. But we done had spits where, you know, shit done been said both ways. But I try to respect my father at all times because I believe in that passage from the Bible. Uh under that mother and that father or your dad should be cut short. So I I might not say the all way correct, but you know, that's the basis. Like shit, I want my dad to live forever because it's like I'm I'm trying to get some type of guess, estimate es, what what's the word from um estimation from his lifespan. My uncles, my auntie, you know what I'm saying? Like we have uh, people who live a long lifespan, 80s and 70s, but that's not long in this one life to live. No time on this earth is long enough when death is final. So it's like, like I said, I'm just having a hard time coming to grasp that, like, damn, bro, I'm gonna die. Leave my kids. Um, then you don't even know when. No man know the time or the hour. So, that's my biggest fear in this world. And, uh, I, I, I don't know if it's other people out here that feel like that. It might, it might be some people that are comfortable with living and just want to know where they're going to go. I mean, comfortable with dying. And more so just want to know where they're going to go in the afterlife. And it's like right now, I'm not even worried about the afterlife. I'm just worried about living. And I know there's probably, I know there's my flesh talking. I hope that ain't the devil. You know what I'm saying? Because I love God. And ultimately, I'm trying to serve God. I want to serve God. I just, you know, I'm having a trouble with knowing, man, I'm going to die. Like, for real, for real. I'm having trouble knowing that I'm going to die. That I'm living to die. No matter what I do, no matter how good, you know what I'm saying, how many, how, how painful the highs and the lows you experience, I'm going to experience, it's all, it's not going to be in vain, but 
You gotta die. And there's so many people like, I don't know if it's the way of the world now or they, they pushing this agenda, like even with making making music, like it's it's a lot of people hint to like, don't give a fuck about dying or I don't want them niggas around me then, man. I care about my life. That's why I, I move different now. You know what I'm saying? I move different because I understand that death is so final. And I know for a fact I ain't ready to die right now. Because shit, I, you know, I don't want to be, I know he watching over me. Nah, I don't want to be here right now. I know my grandma watching over me, but that shit ain't the same. She ain't here. I have to go back and listen to old clips and and by me being a loner, I'm I don't have that nobody that I'm just really close to like that. You know what I'm talking about? Not for show, for show. That I'm just close to close to. I ain't never had no best friend. So that's why when I get to thinking about living and dying, that shit is is is, is wild. It's, it's mind blowing, mind boggling. Like, so, if it's anybody else that feel like I feel, or have a better understanding on death, man, let me know. Like, share, subscribe. I'm not fucked up with you critiquing. Um, feedback is welcome, and. Man, it's, it's, feedback is welcome and, it, and it's also respected. I'm not going to get in my feelings about it. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know. But that is my biggest fear. Living to die. And having to come to grip with that understanding, though. Like, it's just cool. Like, it's cool. Man, that shit weigh on me. Heavily to the point to where I'm trying to figure out how to like I'm at that stage in life to where like I'm trying to figure out how the fuck do I get that monkey off my back not to think about it so much and really live you know I'm living but it's like I'm in a box because I'm thinking about crazy shit so much so man fuck with me like, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, and tune in. I am going to be talking about entertainment, but I, I will be coming with more uh, personal content create, create, creativity. You know, I want y'all to grow with my channel. Mistakes may be made, but this shit built on integrity. It's built on truth, built on trust. And I'm just trying to be really, I feel like with this podcasting space, it's, it's, it's podcasting in every region, bloggers in every region. And I feel like the people that um, doing podcasting in the city, they do a decent job, man. I just feel like I have a lot to gain, a lot to offer. I'm not trying to be the dude that uh, hide behind... Um, a platform not show his face and I'm not trying to be the dude to show his face and say bullshit and kick up bullshit either man you know this is a this is a space for um, teaching uh, critiquing but not diminishing you know what I'm saying I don't have no problems with nobody none of you men none of you women out here so don't take it personal. I ain't taking it personal. I don't want to do nobody nothing. And hopefully no nobody want to do me nothing. But I feel like a lot of my problems been I've been holding my tongue. You know what I'm saying? I've been, there's been so much shit I can talk about that I know. And there's a lot of shit I'm still not going to talk about because it, it ain't no place for the camera. But the shit I can talk about, I just don't be talking about it. And it's like, how the fuck am I going to really podcast if I ain't podcast? So I know I can do um, um, I can do a lot better job than I've been doing, and I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned. 
uh, like, share, subscribe. And I really would like a lot of feedback on this issue, man. Maybe it's like I know people that's more, uh, like I said, have a better uh, understanding could give me insight. It's for family, friends, people who don't know me. Just respond, respond. Let me know how you feel. My biggest fear is living to die. Death. Shit. Revelation. How do I deal with it? How do you deal with it? What are you doing to... Are you just living and not thinking about it? Or, you know, how does that weigh on your mind? Let me know.